and I'm Eden. I'm the uh, Associate Director of Community here in PMD Alliance. So we have our roundtables. This is kind of the support group for the support group leaders. So it's just a really unique concept here. Um, we're really glad you could make it today. And before we get started, I'm just going to offer a few housekeeping items. Um, please have your microphones muted when necessary to make sure there's no background noise. Um, please listen deeply so we can really understand what others are saying. I used to tell my daughter that sometimes I could tell that she really wasn't listening. She was just waiting to talk again. So you always wanna make sure you're listening and paying attention. Um, embrace this time with, you know, yes, and, you know, we're really big on the improv. Yes, and what else can I do? In other words, like I have Parkinson's, but I'm still, and I'm a support group leader and I'm a marathon runner and I'm doing all these cool things. Um, be willing to share and go that one step further. Um, participate. Move with intention when you hear good ideas, like run with them. Um, I know yesterday a lot of people were really just jazzed after our program um, in Bethlehem and they were just, they want to do more. They want to be support group leaders and stuff. And so definitely, you know, run with it. And of course, we always have to be patient with technology because it's only great when it works. But when it doesn't work, it's not fun. Next slide, please. Next slide. So we're going to do our chat storm. Um, I was kind of, I always think about what we should chat about. And I thought, well, it's May. This, this used to be the time when we would start planning the summer vacations if we haven't already. And so I always like to know what was a really great place you visited or one you would like to visit. And so the reason I immediately kind of honed in on my two Hawaii friends is because I absolutely loved when we went to Maui a couple of years, well, back in 2019 before, um, <laughs> before all travel stopped for a while. And that was one of my most favorite trips and I was a little surprised by how much I liked it because when my daughter picked it, I kind of thought, but we live in Florida, we have beaches. And then we get there and I thought, we don't have beaches like this. This is just like kind of heaven on earth. So what are some great places either you've visited or where you'd like to visit? Let's see what you have to say in the chat. And I'm glad that Greg is warm in sunny Palm Beach County. Oh, I love waterfalls. North Carolina has some beautiful waterfalls. Um, when we were in Asheville, we took a tour. Oh, look it. As always, Roger's wonderful with his favorite was all in in DC. <laughs> Island of Malta, that's cool. Calissa wants to go to Niagara Falls and she should. I would love to go to Tahiti. I bet that's incredible. Pismo Beach, the hot springs, oh, south of France. Um, I did, we did go to Italy last summer and Florence was incredible. Karen loved Argentina, would love to go back and but would love to go back to go to Singapore. Oh, <laughs> Judy would like to go to Sedona, Arizona, even though it's only an hour and a half away. So she should go. Harry says the Northern Lights are on his bucket list. I've heard New Zealand is heaven on earth. Hawaii is gorgeous. Tulum, Mexico, great food. That's my language. Oh, Santa Fe, Costa Rica. You guys have some great stuff. Nolens. Oh, yeah, John. <laughs> Zion National Park. Oh, any town you've been to. That's pretty cool. BJ says, like, I can bloom where I'm planted and I'm happy to just be where I am. Well, thank y'all for sharing. This was excellent. And so now we're gonna move on to the next um, slide. Last, because last um, month was um, uh, April, which is Parkinson's Awareness Month, I was wanting to talk about research, but then we had this awesome person from the Fox Foundation and I wasn't gonna say no to that. So I immediately kind of went, okay, I can do this next month. So that's what we're gonna do. Hold on one second. Never mind. I, I knew I had to sneeze. Um, so, because the thing about research, it's 
there's a lot of hope there. It's not just about the scientific studies, it's about hope. And I think that's what's really so great. So um, I wanted to talk about where to find research and <laughs> here's looking at you kid. Thanks, BJ. <laughs> so next slide, please. So I'm sure some of you've heard about the breaking news with the Parkinson's disease biomarker. Um, so some of this information I should say I got from our um, Kelly Papish, who is our nurse practitioner here at PMD Alliance. And she just really had some awesome stuff to tell me about this, because what she talked about is that early biomarkers could equal early detection, which is basically understanding how to get ahead of the disease. And I know I once heard another doctor say, we've never been able to figure out a cure until we figured out the cause. And that's why it's so important to start to figure out what's causing it. And then Kelly also said that eventually there will be drug modifying therapies to destroy or remove the alpha synucleon, which is, you know, kind of causing these issues and stuff. And so I thought that's just really, really exciting. And, you know, obviously this is what we want. And I just, I want to be able to kind of share this information because I know that this is stuff that will come up in your um, support groups. And so next slide, please. Okay. And so then Kelly told me about PubMed, which is through the uh, NIH. And again, I'm going to put that link in the chat. What's really cool about PubMed is it's you can search by any relevant topic or subject. So you can kind of do what you're looking for. And so, for example, if you say, you know, I want to study social well being on this, or you might say, I'm looking for, even if you said, I'm looking for Parkinson's and podiatry, you'll get a bunch of relevant articles. But what's most important is that these are vetted articles. You know, I'm sure. If you were to just Google Parkinson's disease, you might get some great information, but you might also get Joe Schmo wants to tell you about Parkinson's disease. And while Joe might be a lovely person, he's probably maybe not who you want to get your, your information from. So again, these are just really great places like the Fox Foundation to learn about what's going on in research, PubMed if you've got questions you know about and you, you like you can just put it put it in and like I said I thought it was really cool when Kelly showed this to me how you can kind of maybe search a little bit deeper for what you're looking for and stuff so again it's just good to have this information and then we also have publications next slide in movementdisorders.org and you can find all sorts of blogs here and um podcasts and articles on new data. Again, and this is just, it's a reliable website, which is of course where we want to send you because we don't want you just going anywhere and who knows what happens. We want this to be something that's good and you have. So I'm putting all these links in the chat because I want you to have them. Oh, and Karen also said that she likes nutritionfacts.org. Again, this is just a place where we do want you to kind of share where are you getting your information? Who are you finding stuff with? You know, because for example, like there was just an article about um, one of the Democratic Congresswomen. She's 54. She reveals that she's got Parkinson's. And it's kind of exciting because you thought, well, now here's someone who's really going to hopefully push the bill to end Parkinson's because it's personal for her now. And that's, it's pretty exciting. And so it's always, you just wanna be up on all the new research. Next slide, please. And so I did list some other um, resources, obviously pmdalliance.org. Um, we have our online support, our um, NLOs, Neural Life Onlines, where we give out a lot of information. The Davis Finney Foundation, they also have some books that you can order through them. 
um, but they also do some webinars. Parkinson's.org. If you don't know about the Aware and Care Kit, you're missing out. You really want to contact them, talk about the Aware and Care Kit with your support group. You can order it through Parkinson's.org. You could show it to people. Um, and they also have a lot of information on advancing research. Um, they used to have an Ask the Doctor. I don't see that anymore. But again, that was just a great resource. And the important thing is that these are all reliable places, APDA, organ, ABTA, you know, APDA as well. It's just really important that you get your information from reliable sources so you can share it. Next slide, please. And so for our today, I want you to say, you know, how are you keeping up with research to share for your group and for your own learning? <laughs> oh, reading BJ's comment, which always cracks me up. What are you doing? Because I do know that everybody always wants to know what's coming down the pike. And, you know, sometimes the information is slow as far as, you know, like we hear about, for example, the subcutaneous pump, and then it seems like everything pauses on it. But, you know, this is just things that everybody is interested in. So we're going to go ahead and go into breakout rooms. We're going to have about six to seven or eight people in each room. Um, Eric, Aaron has a question. Did you want to come off mute or put a question in the chat? Aaron, I see your hand Hi, guys. Um, so I have a question because there seems to be a lot of information about these vibrating gloves. But when you go look at the study and the trial, they, there's no more clinical trials available. And I wrote to the research, I called, excuse me, the researcher, Kristen, and left a couple of messages just asking, where are these gloves? What's the amplitude? What's the frequency? When are they going to be available? So there's promotion of these gloves. There's excitement of these vibrating gloves. And yet it's like, hey, check this out, folks. These work, but you can't have them. So well, I'm wondering, there's gloves to buy on Amazon, but I'm wondering what people know about this promotion of these vibrating gloves. And yet we can't have access to them. What I was told from a doctor is that the study lacked efficacy and that is why it stopped and that it should never have been promoted on like Good Morning America the way it was. Um, and so that is why, that it wasn't showing efficacy and so that it was stopped for that reason. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, also I do have a request because um, I did put in a bunch of links. To save your chat, if you click on the three little dots of your chat next to the smiley face, if you click on the dots, um, a little pop-up will appear. And if you scroll up, you can save your chat because I did put in several links. Does anyone have any other questions before we do our breakout rooms? Otherwise, we're going to go into our breakout rooms. You don't need to do anything. Kelly is going to put you there, and we're going to be in there for about 45 minutes or so, and then we'll come back and we'll share. And again, if you guys talk about something else in your chat, that's always welcome as well, because this is your group, and I want you to talk about what you want to talk about. So we'll see you in about 45 minutes. Welcome back, everyone. Thumbs up from Roger. <laughs> Moose ears from BJ. Oh, you never failed to not entertain me. Well, we're going to go in. We're going to ask what you guys were talking about, if you don't mind sharing. In room one, we had AC, we had Cindy Crafton, we had Jason and Shauna, we had Judy, we had Kai, and we had Tim, Keel. Would somebody like to come off mute and share what you guys discussed? I know no one's shy. Come on. Judy, you want to lead me? us off and I'll follow? Oh, oh okay. Um, AC and I are going, our co-hosts 
Um, we talked a lot about, uh, code, uh, excuse me, uh, Spain, the World Parkinson's Conference in Spain, actually, and, and the benefits of going there. And I think that's sort of AC's bailiwick, so I'll let him talk about that. Um, we talked about um, one of our visitors was um, somebody lives in North. AC, are you the one in Northern Idaho? Yes. Yeah, okay. You're, so that's you, too. <laughs> um, yeah, right. okay, we, let's see what else we talked about. Um, oh, some good websites for articles and um, how we, uh, I was telling how um, whenever I get information on a study, I, I'll print our paperwork out about it and send it out to my support group and, you know, try to explain to them how it all works so they're not afraid of it, more or less. And um, what else let me see? Uh, we well, talked about the this, this. Oh, go ahead. That Judy emphasized um, is one of the best ways to get information about research is to participate in research. <laughs> so she kind of leads her group by example. And I think that's uh, probably one of the most powerful ways to do that. Um, one of our group came up with something called Feedly which is a way of putting all of your feeds about a certain topic right. together. So you don't have to go switching from Fox Foundation to Parkinson's Foundation to APDA and so forth. You get all your feeds in one place. It was a nice use of technology. Yeah. Um, we, we did talk about- What's uh, that called again? Is it an app? Yes, well, apparently so. I don't it's know it's not it's an, brand new It's not me. an app. ETL, I'll just jump in real quickly. It's not an app. It's just a free reader. Just go to Feedly. I think it's Feedly.com or just Google Feedly -E -E Reader. F-E-E-D-L-E-E. -E. Uh, F-E-E-D-L-Y. Thank you. And then you just input all the sites that you follow. And every morning I just open up Feedly and my 50 Parkinson's website, new articles are all, all there. Hmm. So it's easy. That's a good, yeah. Go ahead and finish up for us, Judy. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what we talked about. <laughs> um, I think what I said was um, sometimes you have uh, members of, of your group that are just don't want to do studies. And I've emphasized that there's many on, online opportunities. You don't always have to just take a drug. And um, I, I find if I bring the paperwork and I, like I've been carrying this thing with me everywhere, and I've got people from my church and people from wherever I go, I get one or two people at least to take a card and to promise me they'll do the smell test. So, you know, this is a great way to do it. Um, if I get an, I also work with the universities here, uh, Perry and I do, and um, they will send us an email saying we need people for a test for our students and we'll get our members some to volunteer and we'll go in and work maybe half a day at the different uh, PT schools here in the area. So there's there's a lot of ways to get the information out there. And and I always tell them, you know, if if you if you don't participate in a study, you, you can't expect to see a cure. Because we have to be the ones that that subject ourselves to the studies so that something can be done to at least slow progression of this disease. So and. That's been my, my big topic that I push is slow progression. Early diagnosis and slow progression are the two things that I'm focused on. I'm not, e I don't even like to use the word cure. So, <laughs> because I think that's way far away, but we can always early diagnose as the new breaking news told us, or see, I'm, I'm preaching already. <laughs> so you don't need me to do that. Anyway, there's, um, there's a lot of ways to get involved, and it's. It, I tell everybody I know. I don't care if they have Parkinson's or not. I try to get people, um, and because you need not only people with Parkinson's, but you need regular people in these studies also, so they have a way of uh, kind of balancing the information they get. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. We're group one. That's some good information we did put in the chat. Um, as well, group, group, ah, 
room two, we've got BJ, we've got Cecile, we've got Dave Orlowski, we've got Greg Richer, we've got Karen Williams and Perry Heilman. Who would like to speak for the group? Well, I took some notes and um, I'll say we had some strong personalities in our group, <laughs> which is something for me to say. Anyways, um, not everyone got to, to talk, but I wanted to make sure that whatever was said, there was a usable, uh, something usable for support group leaders. So uh, Nancy um, had to leave uh, Nancy Floodberg. She had an appointment, but she had a lot of uh, good information about how she contacted uh, people in her area to start getting those relationships built. And um, it started with them getting involved in a study. So just to echo what was just said, um, if there's a study available in your area, it's not always about taking medications, as was said before. In fact, I shared one on faith in Parkinson's in the in the comments, and it is fascinating. Um, so if you're interested in faith and your Parkinson's journey, go to that um, website. And But the information that we came up with is if you're interested in building the relationships locally, contact the department heads at your local universities, um, especially in the neuropsychology, uh, kinesiology, and um, physical therapy, occupational therapy, nursing. And not only will you uh, build that relationship, but you can also ask if the students need any service hours and they can help the support groups uh, by in any way you may need. Uh, almost like an intern, and they can use that as service hours. So don't be afraid to reach out to the local universities and also likewise, contact your nursing schools because the physical therapy and occupational therapy students there, they need contact with Parkinson's patients prior to graduation. So we have a local one here. Um, and uh, I think Perry was mentioning one in his area. And you develop that relationship with the local schools. And uh, that way, if they have any adaptive studies or things like that, uh, they will contact you in return. So it's all about building those relationships locally. And that will help your, uh, your local support groups as well. Then we entered into a, a conversation about music and memory, uh, how they use music to kind of revive memories and dementia patients. And then we went into a long discussion on uh, being your own advocate uh, when you're in the hospital. And uh, we talked about the aware and care issues and making sure you get your meds on time. Um, so all of that was discussed. It just kind of flowed all together. Um, but definitely reach out to your local universities and nursing schools. Thank you. And can you verify the web page i just put in parkoproject.com and a restaurant came up oh yummy okay i'll do that <laughs> maybe like how feed how feedly.com oh, shows up yeah parko g project i'm sorry i'll put it back in again thank you How about room three? We have Corey Tratner, Aaron Raskin, Helena, Marilyn Clayman, Randy Parker, Roger, and Myra. Who'd like to come off mute and share with us? I guess we shouldn't all jump at once. Um, I was gonna say, or I'm gonna pick someone. <laughs> So, um, well, I'll give it a shot and then anybody can chime in. Uh, we talked about several topics. Um, what would be good topics that would seem to be successful um, for various groups? And we got that there was a lot of people wanted speakers from the community, um, but they also wanted speakers that were on topics about people's skills and what they did before Parkinson's in addition to speakers coming in and talking about Parkinson's and different aspects of Parkinson's like nutrition and exercise and things like that. Uh, one person shared that they have uh, every, I don't know, couple times a year do conversation cards with people to increase socialization. 
on, and they have topics on the cards that have nothing to do with Parkinson's, like what's your favorite things you like to do? What did you study in college? Things like that. Um, another person talked about possibly sharing the roles among people in the group, you know, that somebody could take notes, different people could take notes at different meetings. Um, one person said they did a book review discussion on ending Parkinson's by Ray Dorsey, and that was very successful. And another person said they leave time in their groups for helpful hints and hacks. That was a discussion. Um, and often included agreed upon topics. And one time they did a video on, on uh, great gratitude. Um, I also had a group on managing expectations. And then there's some, we talked a little bit about research projects and one coming out of Penn called MIND, M-I-N-D. And then we also talked about some programs that were really good. There's a, a show on Netflix called Shrinking where Harrison Ford plays um, a person with Parkinson's and three others, well, he doesn't play the three other psychologists, but apparently there's three other psychologists on there. Um, and uh, a YouTube video by Joanne Hamilton, The Parkinson's You Don't See. And then there was a two person play, if it can come to your area, What I Didn't Say, A Journey Through Parkinson's. And the um, actor is Matthew Moore. And that's all I wrote down. <laughs> That was an excellent recap, Carrie, of our whole group. Good oh, job. Yeah. Thank you, group oh. three. And now, last but not least, group four, we have Sila, we have John Bauman, we have Lauren, we have Peter, we have Shabir, and we have Spencer. Who's gonna come off mute? John, if you're talking, you're on mute right now. I vote the Lauren. There you go. There you go. I vote for Lauren. Oh, you vote for Lauren. Fine. <laughs> I was trying to give someone else a turn to talk. <clears throat> um, we, we talked about a lot of different things. Um, one of the things we talked about is how uh, people need to be careful about what they're looking at and, and looking into, like someone brought up the stem cell thing. Um, people get, John brought up about executive function. Sometimes our executive function and decision-making isn't fantastic. And also I think people sometimes get to a desperation point where they'll try anything. You need to be really, really careful. So we talked about you know making sure that any treatments that they do, you know, um, are verified, they, or if it's a clinical trial, it's on clinicaltrials.gov or you know, something like that, really you know, doing their due diligence to check into things. Um, we talked about some alternative or unconventional treatments like Yes And, Robert Co Cochran's program um, with improv. Um, talked about uh, PD Avengers being a good source, um, Metaflix, being a good place to go to for information. Um, some apps that we talked about were Headspace. Um, what else do we talk about guys? Oh, Cure PSP is another site that we re I refer people to for Parkinson isms because there's not a lot of information out there for that. So the Cure PSP site, I refer people to um, that has good information. And then um, th we, talked about the the big organizations are the ones that we refer people to for reliable information you know the fox foundation parkinson's foundation pmd alliance davis finney um apda though the big ones you're going to reliable information there um anything else there's a once a year a conference on insight uh from PD Warrior. I don't know if you know that program. They have exercise, which is fantastic exercise if you, and you know, I, I we, we put that. And I think I forgot to mention is uh, when somebody brought university, Stanford, 
has this, I put the, um, on the chat, the link, if you go there and sign up, it gives you a list of uh, every month, a list of webinars on different topics. And you can choose and register so that each topic you can get at least a recording, number one. And the second thing is one of the Stanford kind of knowledgeable person take note and gives the summary of that particular webinar that they attended. And it's really nice because I, you know, if I, I don't, it's too much to read and watch, especially watching um, the videos because, you know, I can't sit there for an hour every, it's just too many videos. But when he summarizes, I can look at it and say, yeah, it's useful. If I need to watch, I'll watch. But that that is a very valuable, uh, you know, resource, and I didn't mention that. It just when somebody mentioned it, it's good to be uh, close to Stanford, which is a great resource too. So, and one other thing that we talked about, and this has been a big thing for me lately, is mm -hmm. how to stay out of danger. How to how to stay out of. Mm -hmm. And one one of the things that should be brought up was getting an echo, so that if you if you if you I watch is on the charger and you <clears> something stupid, like take a bath and you're stuck in the tub, you can just call out to the echo and that would be great. So I think that was a great suggestion. Mm -hmm. I think that's about it. So for people who don't know that echo, that's uh, from amazon.com mm. or what? Alexa is from Amazon. I think echo is Google, I believe. I think one of them, they, I'm sure it's not from Amazon because Amazon has Alexa, but I don't know about Echo is, I think it's uh, Google, I'm not sure. I think, I think Echo is the little tiny Alexa. Alexa is about five inches tall. Echo oh, like I see. Tall. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Like this that. Is yep. Is, yeah, and that's, that's like a baby Alexa, I think. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. So they're both from uh, Amazon, but not the different size or different. That's all right, BJ. Okay. Yeah, I got mine from uh, Amazon.com. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you just connect it to your Bluetooth and all that. And you can ask it all sorts of funny questions when you're bored. And, you know, mm -hmm. but it can help. Too. My echo just started talking to me when you, <laughs> <laughs> I had to get up and run in there to hear what it was saying. And I realized it was responding to something <laughs> somebody said. <laughs> so. Can you remind me why um, Robert Cochran is in the chat? Is that an author? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, well, I, I, I've been taking improv uh, <clears throat> classes with him. Uh, he he came to a couple of places. I think Washington was there as far yep. as. So he's done. He's I don't know. He he has a PhD and he has done some studies on how. Uh, yes, and exercise meaning improv exercise, whatever, you know, kind of <laughs> like a gym, right? So you do exercise your brain to just improv just except yes, I have, and then add to it. So I think maybe BJ has something to add. Maybe. Yeah, and in fact, today and tomorrow, uh, mm -hmm. he is starting a brand new uh, study or group called Day One, and it's a life-changing study. It's, it, it'll happen once a week for 16 weeks. And if you don't have the money to pay for it, it doesn't matter, uh, just, if I think there's a few spots left and each week you discover one topic and you do a one page written mm -hmm. uh, expression on that topic. And to, I did one of them before and it's life changing. So yes, and exercise dot org. Um, improv will help mm -hmm. you in your uh, interactions with other people and help you to regain your confidence in conversation. And it'll help work your vocal cords as well. So 
there's so many good things about improv and Parkinson's. And yes, dot exercise.org. Yes, exercise. Yes, and exercise.org. Yeah. And yes. also, he, if you don't want to necessarily take all 16 or whatever, there's always Tuesday at 10 o'clock. And jam for joy, jam for joy, <coughs> jam for joy, and also uh, 4 p.m. on Thursday, he has young onset Parkinson people, and he basically does because his dad has a Parkinson or has he has still, and he did a documentary on on uh boys of summer or something like that, right? And you can find it on medflix.com, yep. So I think that if you don't want to attend, just sign up a register for uh, Tuesday or Thursday, 4 p.m. And it's a great. Thank you. And what's you know, the Netflix to... thing called again? Uh, uh, you Boys can go to Summer. I'm sorry, say it again. Go ahead. On we Netflix, get... what are we looking for? You can go either go to uh, bosmovie.com, Boys of Summer, or go to medflix.com and. Uh, He's he just did his he's working on his fourth documentary in that series. Mm -hmm. So, and the thing is, he he really lives uh, what he preaches. So, you know, he doesn't he wants to serve Parkinson's community, but not necessarily. You know, uh, he doesn't if he can't pay, that's fine. Uh, if you don't, you know, just pay forward to whatever you are doing, you know, you don't have to pay him necessarily return, but pay forward that we get. So that really helps to, and I I believe in improv because I've done different uh, sessions. I, I have signed up with Tightrope Theater, which happens in British Columbia, uh, Vancouver. There go. I also have an improv, we we have something called um, Toastmaster, which is Improv Master. I I work with Toastmaster. Uh, you, I think if you know, it's a speaking opportunities and skill. But we do improv with the regular Toastmaster, so it it helps that way too. Both. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. Um, I'm not sure if you all heard this, but uh, Michael J. Fox documentary called Still, Still will be coming out on Apple TV on May 12th. So. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, everyone, for coming today. We will be sending out the recording of this tomorrow. Um, as always, I do encourage you to save your chat. We put some more stuff in the chat. So I do want to make sure that you've um, saved it. If you go down to the bottom and you can go ahead and click on the three little dots in your chat. And so, oh, I also want to add this because this was sent to me direct message, but this is another um, that just came through for a study. So I'm going to add this to the chat before everyone saves it. I signed up for that and I was accepted for it and we started on Monday. So that's a good, uh, it's a good study that you don't have to already be, uh, you don't have to worry about taking medication. Um, it's all about speech. So um, that's a good one. Awesome. Well, again, thank you everyone for coming. Please save your chat and I will be sending out an email tomorrow. And you're awesome too, BJ. <laughs> everyone in this group is pretty awesome. And that's why I always say I get to work with the best people on the planet. So thank you everybody and enjoy your Monday. Bye. I hope everyone has a great day. <laughs>